I'm back from Missouri where I was able to track down the fabled chupacabra. Near the town of Strafford, Missouri, on the farm of Tim Stoll, his stepson, Dalton Pennington, went out one day after they had been losing chickens to some unknown creature. And the horses took off running and didn't know what that was about, so we looked out there. A strange looking uh, creature and uh, Creature didn't seem very afraid of him. Said, yeah, I don't know what that is, but I bet you that's what's been getting our animals. And it was heading for the goats. We came out that back door right there, and it, it came around the yard here, and it was uh, ign pretty much ignoring us. It was, the goats are right there. The animal was running up and down the fence right here, trying to figure out how to get in. And he went inside, checked with his dad, got the deer rifle, and went out and in a single shot brought it down. And it is indeed a strange looking creature. They had taken samples and frozen them, so if there was ever a need for DNA, but the animal was getting pretty rank and I got there just in time because they were going to that day um, dispose of the creature, burn it on orders from the conservation department. So we're left with the question, just what was this creature at Stratford? He looked at it and he's like, that's the chupacabra. A Stratford man says he's actually shot and killed a real life. I braved the stench and got close and did a very careful examination of the animal with my camera. And right away, you can see that this looks, just overall, it looks like one of the canids. That is the, the wolf, fox, dog uh, family. It had mange, it's one of the first things that I noticed, it's lost a lot of its hair, and that can cause something to look very, very weird, a mangy critter. This had uh, patches of hair, quite a bit of hair, and again was consistent with being some type of canid, but it had mange, and canids have mange a lot. I'm familiar with this as a boy in Kentucky. So as I look further, I see that, I, I can't tell the color of the eyes really uh, from examining it, but the boy had told me that. He was just saying, whoa, look at those eyes. You know, it was a weird. Um, so yeah, Dalton, they were, they were yeah. yellow? Yeah. They had yellow eyes. Again, a tip off because that's the eye color of the canids. That's, the, that's very common. So you look at its size, it's very lithe body. You notice that it has a kind of a rusty colored upper parts and a buff underbelly. Those are consistent with a certain creature. And if you go on and look at the markings, look at the rusty uh, hair on the legs, look at the traces you could make out of a, of a dark mark, a vertical mark on the forelegs. And look at the dentition, which is very distinctive. Uh, everything considered, this is pretty clearly a coyote. I was able to get the official view of the Parks and Conservation Department. I called there, and they in turn had had two state biologists. But they, they never came to the, to the Stoll Farm, they just looked at online photographs, but that was enough for them to say. And I, I think exactly. Um, they were able to say that this was a coyote with mange, or as one said, probably sarcoptic mange. So when you look at what was seen by the people who encountered the animal, yes, really strange, weird looking creature with its, much of its hair gone, uh, fierce look, um, and, and those yellow eyes. But how does this compare to the chupacabra? And the answer is it doesn't. First of all, of course, the chupacabra could be, I guess, sort of anything we imagine it to be. But then that becomes meaningless. And basically, the chupacabra, which showed up in 1995 in Puerto Rico, kind of a reincarnation of an earlier legendary uh, creature there called the Mocha Vampire. The Chupacabra supposedly uh, 
walks on hind legs. It has a large head, large red lidless eyes, but they're red eyes. And down its back has distinct prominent spines. And there was nothing remotely like that on this creature, except there was a sort of line of hair, uh, bristly hair down the back, but it looked nothing like spines and certainly was not um, anything like uh, what people describe as the chupacabra. In this instance, even if the chupacabra is out there, this is not it. This was a coyote. <laughs>